This is the second episode in a series on forgiveness for WIN, Women's Information Network. In the last episode, we looked at why people do not want to or cannot forgive. Frankly, it is because they do not know what forgiveness is, they do not know what the benefits of forgiveness are, and they do not know where to start or how to go about forgiving. So today we're going to look at some of the benefits of forgiveness. Hi, I am Lois, your friend for forgiveness from Walking Without Skin. And you can reach me on my web page and on my Facebook page by that name, Walking Without Skin. Unforgiveness creates mental and emotional negativity and blocks you from finding a new love, a new experience, or a new way of life. It may harm your relationship with those who were not involved in the incident that caused you harm, and it may stop you feeling close to others. This can be in the form of unnecessary arguments, sexual dysfunction, verbal abuse, physical abuse, resentment, suspicion, lack of communication, stony silences, and many more. Unforgiveness may impact negatively on your work, making decisions harder, and it may blunt your creativity. <laughs> you become inattentive, and this may lead to accidents. You may be irritable and moody and have violent outbursts for no reason and lash out at innocent bystanders. You may feel that you are not free. You cannot make decisions. You may avoid or miss opportunities that are right there in front of you. You may even punish yourself by causing yourself harm, physical harm, depriving yourself of things you love by overeating or drinking excessively. You may become addicted to drugs or alcohol. You may even contemplate or attempt suicide. Neuroscience is teaching us how closely our bodies and mind are connected and how our feelings can impact on our physical well-being. When we are negative or feel bad, the chemistry in our brain changes and the neurotransmitter patterns make it more difficult for us to function normally and optimally. Our worldview becomes negative and narrow and we only see the bad around us. We become intolerant and critical and we, we criticize many things in our lives. Here are some of the symptoms, the physical symptoms that are brought about due to blocked emotions, anxiety and stress. These include clenching of the teeth and jaw, leading to jaw pain and even damage to your teeth. Tightening of the back or neck muscles, leading to tension headaches, neck and back pain, and even joint pain. The restriction of blood flow to the joints reduces the flow of oxygen and nutrients to the cells, making it more difficult for waste to be removed and impairs our recovery from injury. <laughs> Creates poor sleep patterns, poor, poor bowel movements, poor digestion. Blood flow to the heart is restricted. We get high blood pressure. We have erratic breathing. We have a lowered immune system and we are vulnerable to infections and diseases. You may even have thought of revenge and even trying to take revenge. Think of a traffic accident. You're driving along and somebody cuts in front of you, nearly causing an accident, and speeds off into the distance. Your blood pressure goes up, you get angry, you start shouting and cursing, and you get back to home or workplace, and you tell everybody about this bad driver who cut you off and nearly created an accident. And you are carrying all of this anger and all this pent-up emotion and, and tension and anxiety. Whereas that person has actually moved on. They've driven home. Maybe they were in a hurry. Maybe there was an emergency. But they didn't even know that they caused you that anxiety. And they carried on with their life while you are still carrying that pain and that anxiety with you. 
So what are the benefits of forgiveness? Well, it, it undoes all of those negative things that I mentioned before. It quiets the angry or the fearful feelings, and it changes those destruct, destructive thoughts. It gives you a sense of well-being and improved health. Your emotions in life become richer and more meaningful. You get a positive outlook on life and a deeper, deeper level of understanding. You take back your personal power. It helps you interact more positively with other people. It, forgiveness releases blocked memories and emotions, which may surface and trigger you at unexpected times in the future when you see or hear something similar to what happened to you uh, and or when you even see the person who harmed you. I was attacked from behind and for years I would jump if somebody even walked behind me. But after I forgave, that trigger went away. Now people can come up and say, boo, behind me, and I do not get afraid. Emotions such as disappointment, guilt, shame, blame, hate, anger, fear, self-doubt, and envy, they are all lifted when you forgive. All this leads to increased energy, greater happiness, love, laughter, and joy. You have more trust and you care more and have more compassion to and about other people and situations. You are more serene and calm and in harmony with your surroundings. You become more hopeful and you become self-confident. Forgiveness gives you peace of mind and it sets you free. Forgiveness is also spiritual and is deeply rooted in almost every religious uh, practice. Uh, and forgiveness may encourage the person who hurt you to seek help and to change. It may stop a cycle of abuse or hurt and may even provide the possibility for redemption and restoration. I was attacked and raped tied up and left for dead. <laughs> I survived, thank goodness. Uh, the, prison, the, the rapist was captured and incarcerated. He was given a 25 year prison sentence. For 14 years, I lived in fear and trepidation and anger and resentment. But 14 years later, I went to the prison I was living outside of South Africa and I was coming home for my first holiday. I'd been away a year and I decided to contact the prison authorities to find out what had happened to the rapist. And I was told that he was up for a parole hearing the day after I arrived back in the country. It was such a coincidence. And in addition, the law had just changed, allowing what they call victims of serious crime to attend parole hearings. So against the advice from family and friends, the universe had spoken to me, there was too much synchronicity. I just had to go to this parole hearing. And I went, I was advised by a friend that I had to forgive and I really, <laughs> forgive, don't be ridiculous. How can I forgive this man that hurt me so badly and caused me so much trouble in my life? But he got me thinking and I went and I visited Mr. Google and I researched all about forgiveness. And based on what I'd researched, I wrote a long forgiveness speech that spoke about the impact that he had had on my life. And I went to this prison. It was quite an eerie experience. I had to actually enter the prison and walk through the prison with all the prisoners iron gates clanging shut behind me it was quite and it made me quite uneasy and I got to the conference room and there were eight gentlemen sitting there six or eight and they brought in the prisoner they went through all the formalities and the legalities and then they asked me if I had anything I wanted to say so I started reading the the speech I've written and I thought oh, this is not right it was too academic, it was too stilted, it was factual, but it had no feeling to it. 
uh, and and I looked up at him, and he English English was not his first language, so he was battling to understand. And secondly, he only had a grade six education, so he definitely didn't understand my very academic writing. So I just looked at him and I said something to the effect of, I take the responsibility and I hand it back to you from my higher self to your higher self, and I forgive you and I take back my power. And I stood up. And I thought, gosh, I actually meant it. And to this day, I've not been able to actually describe that feeling that I had. The authorities told me they would let me know in seven days if he was given parole or not. And I said, no, I don't need to know uh, whether he gets parole or not, because he is of no concern to me anymore. Forgiveness is, is when you are bonded to a person or a situation and when you forgive you're breaking that bond and it's setting you free and so I said I really don't need to know what happens to him if he's in or out he is of no concern to me I've broken that bond so so completely and let me tell you I did not walk out of that prison I flew out of that prison totally free from that terrible terrible incident that unforgivable incident and I walked free because I forgave and so I invite all of you to be bold to be brave you can come and ask me for guidance uh, I have a, a free checklist on on what you can do but it helps to have somebody to hold your hand through the process and I invite you all to be brave and to Fly free. Thank you for listening.